All right, people, so a good friend of mine did me a favor years ago and actually held some of my old collection when he lived here in Brooklyn. And then uh, he got married, moved on, took all his stuff down to another state. And I totally forgot that I had a bunch of my collectibles at his place. So he did me the favor and actually like held on to them for years and he just got them to me. So let's open this up and let's see what uh, what I forgot. This is holy All right, you know what? Let's sit down and go through this. Well, as you can see, this is a plentiful bounty. Let's start with <laughs> this is a uh, the original Marvel Legends Thor when Marvel started doing really nice detailed characters. Unbelievable, it's really detailed, really nice. I actually like this better than the modern uh, figures. My brother's a big Thor fan. He's even a bigger Hulk fan. So this is the first Marvel Legends Hulk. There's actually two variations. This one has the lab coat, as if he uh, hulked up. And the fingers are not bendable. It was a, a variant with the bendable fingers. Let's keep going. The thing from Fantastic Four. This one with the trench coat and hat. And glasses, but it apparently knocked over. Oh, I remember this. The Daredevil that looks like Ben Affleck, which was a terrible movie, but the figure kind of looks like him. Oh, one of my, my other favorite characters, Wolverine. The first Marvel Legends Wolverine, pretty cool, right? And I kind of prefer this to the modern figures. Human Torch. I'm not a big Fantastic Four fan, but just to finish... Oh! Check this out. Namor. School figure. Namor is actually one of the powerhouses of Marvel. Uh, let's go here. Spider-Man Classics Daredevil. I don't know why they lumped him in with Spider-Man. Maybe because they're buddies. It's really dusty. Let's go on to Magneto. Maybe I should have dusted this. But I'm just opening this. First Marvel Legends Magneto. And, oh! Now face Doom. Doctor Doom. With his, Is his face messed up? Yeah, his face is slightly messed up. Okay, now we go on to the Spider-Man animated series figures that I chased down. This is one of my favorite sets, Spidey and Mary Jane. This is what Mary Jane looks like. MJ, listen, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's MJ. This is kind of sweet. Let me open this if I get the... Well, I mean, not. Never mind. Oh my goodness. Let's go through the whole thing here. I don't even know where to start. Alright, so here's Spider Man. It says Night Shadow Spider Man. It's just, a, I guess, a darker suit. Where am I going to stack this stuff up? I'll start here. The regular Spider Man. Oh my god, this is so cool. I like this. Shh, stop. I'm not over 40. Okay. What else we have here? Oh! This is a spider slayer. An alien spider slayer. But of course, this should take priority. Venom. Card is a little bent up, but that's fine. Of 
course, venom gave birth to carnage. Okay, let's keep going. We have here the doppelganger. It's an evil, alien, nasty version of Spider-Man. You know what? Let me just put these right back in here. And we will continue with our... Oh man, these are my favorites so far. Alright. Let's go on to... Dr. Octopus. Cyborg Spider-Man. Prowler Ooh, this one was hard to get. I remember I had to chase this down. The Chameleon Tombstone also I had to chase down when I bought these back in back in the day. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Oh, here we have another version of Spider-Man, Web Trap. This was a KB exclusive. Back, KB Toy Store was a thing. I don't know if they exist in Canada, maybe, or somewhere else. Alright, I've stacked these pretty high. Let me keep... Oh, I like that one. Let's keep going. I showed you, um... Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, there's more Spider-Man down here. All right. We have here, and Benji, my friend, did me the favor and sent this to me, which was nice of him. He didn't have to do that. All right, let's continue. Cool. Spider Sense Spider Man. We have here another version of Spider Man Web Racer. Has two uh, webs or strings there, and I guess you run them across. Yeah, you can run them across the threads there. We have Web Shooter Spider Man. This one hurt my emotions. Battle Ravaged. He's beat up. Remember the first Spider-Man movie where at the end Willem Dafoe messed him up? But then Willem Dafoe threatened his girl, Mary Jane, and it was over? Okay. Next. Octo Spidey. A version of Spider-Man that takes over Dr. Octopus's tentacles. And they kind of paid homage to that in the latest movie, which was cool. Ah, Man Spider. You may not know about that. Here we have Nick Fury, the original version of Nick Fury. Though I like the current Sam Jackson version. You know, in the 90s, they did a Nick Fury series on television and David Hasselhoff played him. That was funny. Okay, here's Alistair Smythe. Here is, oh, I have another Carnage. Ah! It's Carnage with the, you can't take his mask off. With the face covering. The other one, you can take it off. All right, let's move on to, let me carefully put this here. How about, here we go, the Rhino. Not the Wino, the Rhino. Scorpion, which is J. 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 Jonah's fault that this guy exists. We have 
Oh, one of my other favorites. Web Lair Spider-Man Symbiote. This was a KB Toy Store exclusive. We have Web Glider Spider-Man. Made a little glider out of his webbing. Oh, he's another one of my favorites. Spider-Man with the armor. This is Spider-Man's first armor. A lot of the stuff in the new version, new movies, I don't like. I like the old original comic version where they show off his intelligence and his adaptability. And that's one of the things he created. We have regular black symbiote Spider-Man. Delicious. We have... Oh, we already did Web Glider. Okay. Let's move on here. Let me place these gingerly. Spider-Man. He has some sort of web cannon. This must be a figure purely made for money. Because that never happened in the cartoon. We have Ah, Mist Squirting Mysterio. There was a chase version of this that's pretty hefty to find. I, I had to chase this one. Is this the variant? I don't remember. This might be the variant. I'm not sure. But in any case, both versions of these are hard to find. We have Aha, uh -huh, one of my other, I can't say favorite, but I like him, the Punisher. He was in a couple of episodes of the, couple. he was in a couple of the episodes of the 90s series. Frank Castle, nice guy. Here we have Craven the Hunter, which they kind of, Changed his origin in the cartoon, the 90s cartoon. All right, so now we move on to, ouch, Superposable Spider-Man, which is another Spider-Man figure. There's like a billion versions of him. The Hobgoblin, which Mark Hamill, who does the voice for the Joker in the Batman animated series and did the voice for the Joker in the video games, did the the, the uh, voice of the Hobgoblin. It's a little trivia for you. Peter Parker, upstanding guy. We have six arm Spider-Man when he begins to mutate. He actually goes to the X-Men for help. And there's a nice little fight between him and Wolverine. Wolverine says, well, what do you know? Put out flypaper, catch a spider. Venom with the unremovable mask or non-removable or whatever. We have his greatest nemesis, the Green Goblin. Well, arguably, it's between the Green Goblin and Venom. But I think the Green Goblin takes the cake because Venom comes around and he and Spidey have like a love-hate relationship. And finally, the Lizard. I also have Hydra Man somewhere. So I gotta be thankful to Benji for holding on, holding on to these for me. I totally forgot these existed. He actually did remind me, now that I remember. I just remember he did remind me at one point. He was like, yo, I got all your stuff. And um, I was like, cool, uh, you know, just give me a chance that I just, you know, totally went out my mind. And the funny thing is, these figures, they're going to re-release them. They're remaking them. And I have a couple of them. I just don't have the room to uh, store them, which is why <laughs> he held on to them for the, in the first place. All right, well. This is my 90s Spider-Man collection. Hydra Man is somewhere. And uh, thanks for watching.
Okay, everyone, so um, I was checking around the stuff I have at home, and it turns out that, yes, I did have, I do have the Hydra Man here amongst my regular collection of stuff. I don't know how my friend Benji had all the other stuff except this one. This one stayed here in, uh, in my possession. Weird. Um, and I, I know pretty much maybe the... Uh, the video of those didn't come out clear, but maybe I'll I'll do a reshoot or whatever. All right, so that's my Spider-Man 90s figures collection. So thanks for looking at this crazy video. Maybe one day I'll go through that stuff. That's more recent stuff. All right.